Welcome back. Your kiddo's first haircut has the potential to be a nightmare, but it doesn't have to be. I've got Amber here with me from Great Clips, and she's got some tips and tricks on how to make your kiddo's first haircut the milestone memory go smoothly. Thank yes. you so much for joining us. And this Thank is you. also little Reagan. Reagan. <laughs> All right, so yes. what, where do we begin? What do we start with? So the first thing to start with is picking the right time for your child. Um, a lot of times right after they wake up from a nap is good because they're not oh. tired um, and they're little, you know, just calm. You can use our online check-in um, to check in online so that it kind of holds your spot in line so you That's don't have convenient. to wait as much time in the salon um, and kind of prepare for it. Uh, we recommend that you bring a change of clothes. And why is that? Because sometimes they don't want to wear the cape, or even if they're wearing the cape, they squirm around and end up with hair all over them. And we all know that that is completely uncomfortable for the rest of the <laughs> yeah. day. So have a change of clothes so that you can um, keep them comfortable. Um, let's see, another tip would be to bring distractions. I we love have this bubbles. Idea. And I mean, this will be good for mom and dad too. Yes. Right? They can they just kind yep. of follow the bubbles. Yes. They're not even paying attention and you can do your work. Uh, yeah. So you have bubbles. Um, she has her stamp with her because that is a toy, um, something that she likes a lot. She gave everybody one. in the studio stamps this morning on their hands. So that helps keep them calm and, and distracted. Uh, we bring snacks. That's a great idea snacks. as well. She already ate my other snack, so it <laughs> works. It was a good distraction while we were waiting in and the green room. And then you also mentioned maybe taking breaks, so yeah, absolutely not for a little bit of time. Yes, so you know it doesn't have to be. I have I have gone into the lobby and cut their hair while they're playing with toys in the lobby. Um, put them on mom or dad's lap. Uh, bring people with you. Grandma's with us today. Um, Grammy's a good distraction. Keeps her happy. <laughs> and take pictures. Maybe yeah. make it fun right. and try to pump them up a little bit. What about um, for parents who would like to cut the hair themselves? What would you say to those, <laughs> to those parents? Well, I always say you have to do what, what's right for you. We have to do what's best. And, and sometimes, you know, if you're just doing a little bit of a trim, particularly on a, a little girl, you want their hair to grow long. It's not... It's not that bad, but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, um, <laughs> um, speaking from experience, my yes. mother cut my hair and I have years of horrible baby pictures. So. I say that that's why I was a um, hairdresser is because my mom cut my bangs and they were here and here <laughs> and here. It's awful and, here. and embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so how you guys have a ton of locations across the valley, and we again, do. you can download the app. Yes, you can download the app. Um, the app will show you where the lo uh, closest location is, um, and then you can check in online uh, and come on in whenever it's convenient for you. All right, Amber, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Those were some great <laughs> tips, and Reagan, you did great. High five.